A Minnesota community not giving up hope in the search for a missing teenager. I'm hoping that we get some answers for for every one of us. 15 year old Nevea Kingbird vanishing nearly two years ago, but the efforts to find her now growing more intense. Now we have an opportunity to go back with literally a different set of eyes, different people that see things differently. More than 100 volunteers, including local indigenous groups, joining law enforcement for a large scale two day search to scour 150 acres of land. It's incredibly encouraging seeing so many people. I think it's actually more people than I was anticipating, um, yeah. which is I mean, what could be better? That's what you want to see, right? Nevaeh's mother pushing through to find her daughter. I'm just living a nightmare right now, and I um, don't feel like I've... I feel like I'm still where she left me, but at the same time, I'm doing my best to be... Um, productive. Police say the teen was last seen leaving a home with friends in October of 2021, wearing skinny jeans and Nike sandals. A dozen searches have been conducted since her disappearance, but this one covering some new ground around the Bemidji area, about three and a half hours north of Minneapolis, and uncovering items of interest. Some items have been located and we'll have those sent to a lab to be analyzed to see if they are pertinent to the investigation or not. Law enforcement hoping the efforts shine a light on the estimated 4,200 missing and murdered indigenous people across the country. A big part of this, a big part of the conversation in our community is the lack of national coverage for uh, at least children, especially indigenous children in our community that go missing. Um, and some of the concern or some of the perception is that they're not they're not as important and that's just simply not true something nevaeh's community knows all too well the whereabouts of their treasured daughter sister and niece still yet to be revealed it doesn't get easier i uh, try my best to just try to move on with life and keep you know her and my prayers and talk about her all the time and NBC News correspondent Valerie Castro joins us now in studio. Valerie, this search team, they are also looking for another missing Indigenous teen, right? What can you tell us? Yeah, listen, so that case is a little bit older, but police say 17-year-old Jeremy Jordan went missing in 2016 on Halloween night, the same area where Nevaeh was also last seen. So naturally, it only makes sense that search teams are also looking for any clues in his case. Police say they might not be able to cover that large search area by the end of today, so they say there will likely be more community searches planned in the future. Thanks for watching. Stay updated about breaking news and top stories on the NBC News app or follow us on social media.